everyone, welcome back to a new video. The AGR Gunsmith was supposed to be uploaded today but it got a bit delayed and I will be uploading it tomorrow. In the meantime, I wanted to cover on recall control, show some of the gunsmith builds I use and how I control the recall of the guns. A common criticism I have received is I'm a gyro player so no matter what gun I use, it will automatically become no recall. And I don't say the claim is false, gyro does help in controlling the recall, but I still use fingers for recall control. My usage of gyro is very weird, since I started playing fingers only and gyroscope came much later in my life when I had already um, sort of mastered my fingers only controls. Thus, I don't use gyro like how gyro is normally supposed to be used. And I keep gyro switched on in case if I run out of screen space, then instead of having a pause and readjusting my finger, I can move my device and sort of clutch the situation. That's my very basic use of gyro. And we don't need it since we can slide around while readjusting the finger, but I keep gyro on in case it helps. Anyway, here in the video, I use some of my recommended builds and try to maintain the bullets in the middle of the testing board as I control the recall. It's not always precise but still decent enough and you can see the finger taps on the screen which can give you an idea of my finger movement. One thing to note, I usually don't use recall control attachments since vertical recall is quite easy to control with most guns. And for horizontal recall like the HVK30 or the ASM10, I usually opt for muzzle brake or strike stock to help stabilize the horizontal recall since it is difficult to control. Hope it helps and learning to control recall depends a lot on the recall pattern of the gun and our own muscle memory and how we adjust and adapt to situations. Like when we are getting shot there is a factor of flinch so we need to compensate for the flinch along with recall. And I don't practice any of these separately, I simply continued playing and somehow learned to do these things as I progressed with the game. So the only tip I have is while playing have a certain goal instead of just running around trying to win matches. The goal can be something simple like trying to maintain KD or trying to get good accuracy and whatever. But when we have a goal in mind while playing, we improve that facet of our playstyle and soon enough we'll make progress and start doing these things subconsciously out of muscle memory. The sensitivities we use also play a role and too low sensitivities and we won't be able to do quick movements and if we have too high sense, we lose out on precision. So sensitivity is quite a personal thing, I use high sense and it works out for me while I have seen some people use low sense and it works out for them. Thus sensitivity is quite personal and needs to be adjusted to suit the individual. I will be having a video covering how to find the perfect sensitivities for yourself in the near future so look forward to that and if you want to check out my own settings, uh, sensitivities or HUD layout, I have a video on it and I will link it in the description. That is pretty much it for this video. Hope you liked it and consider leaving a like and subscribing with the bell notifications to not miss my future videos. The AGR Gunsmith discussion will be coming out tomorrow so I'll meet you again very soon. In the meantime you can join the discord server to interact with me and the other members and we can talk about gunsmiths, statistics or even general discussions. The link to the discord server will be in the description and I will meet you again very soon. Thank you for watching, take care guys and until next time, bye.